Temu is extremely popular, and today we bought the most popular gaming peripherals. Ooh, ooh, Temu, shop like a billionaire. After a word from today's sponsor, and it's not Temu. Buying peripherals and parts off Temu is always a little sketchy. Yeah, it might be cheap, but the odds of being disappointed with what you ordered are high. If you want a site full of great prices and great products, you need to check out today's sponsor, Jawa.gg, with some of the best deals on the market. Jawa has an individually curated group of verified sellers that are selling components and even full builds at some of the best prices on the internet. Say goodbye to ordering sketchy parts off Temu and to haggling on Facebook Marketplace for a mediocre deal. You can use Jawa.gg to filter through tons of listings and find the perfect deal for whatever you want. Tons of gamers are selling their old parts and peripherals at insane prices over at Jawa.gg, so now is the best time to buy. And if you're someone who has also upgraded recently, selling your old PC is super easy and will help you make some money back. Plus, if you're looking to offload an old graphics card, Jawa will purchase GPUs directly from customers to make it the easiest possible solution for selling a GPU. If you're interested in joining the best marketplace to sell and buy gaming gear, check out Jawa.gg today, or you can head over to sell.jawa.gg slash GPU to get started on selling your GPU today. Big thanks again to Jawa for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. All right, guys, so uh, yeah, we are looking at Timu peripherals, specifically gaming peripherals for your gaming setup, keyboards, mice, headsets, and a bunch of other stuff that Zach was nice enough to buy for us and uh, we'll spend our hard-earned money. And he's gonna show us one by one some of the best-selling products. One of them said they sold 7,000 in 24 hours. I do not believe it, but we will see. <laughs> Those things are flying out of the factory <laughs> if there's 7,000 that quick. But hey, who knows what Timu, man? It's, just, it's a mystery. We don't even really understand it. Ooh, snag. So this is a gaming mouse. Gaming, fast response. Is that, oh, fast sensor, I can't read. What can you tell us about this, Zach? I don't know which mouse this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like this is a, well, I say almost like, this is a white label product that nobody bothered to put their label on. Uh, does it have ridges on the side? It does. Yeah. Okay, I found which one this is. This is the wired USB gaming mouse with heat dissipation, lightweight wired LED with 6.1K sold. Heat dissipation because there's holes in it? <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah, for air ventilation when you're flicking in Fortnite. In this video, we're obviously going to test some of these claims. They just say lightweight. Do they say the weight at all or is it just lightweight? There is no mention of the weight. We're gonna test it in grams. 76 grams. That's not very lightweight in, this, in the world of lightweight gaming mice. Like, isn't, isn't like 50 something grams like kind of average for a lightweight mouse or? Uh, I would say like in between 60 and 70, like the light lightweight mice are like down in the 50 area. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, because they need these ones that have like the cutouts in them. At least the ones I've had were in like the 50 range, like light, lightweight, but mm -hmm. does it feel okay? Compared to some of the other mice, I, the feeling is not subpar or like super unpremium. So let's see what it looks like. Do we have a price for this one? We do. Do you want to guess the price? Well, let's plug it up first. We'll, we'll guess the price at the end. Jonah, oh wait, hold up, whoa. Uh, whoa! My MacBook wants to ask if I should allow this accessory. Am I, should I be concerned? <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty precise actually. Let me get the lift off. A, a uh, little bit, it's yeah. not, uh, yeah, it's, it's enough to where I think it'd be annoying, but it's not like horrible. So a lot of people, there are people who comment is like, why do you lift your mouse up? You idiot gamer, like I see comments like that. Um, but like, do you not naturally do this when you're playing a game and you're like, oh, let me let me adjust, let me yeah. adjust. Like, like when you do that, it's moving your like mouse. You're not just like lifting off and it doesn't go anywhere. It like will just flick you around whenever you do that. So we gotta guess the price. Oh, we have to guess. $10. Yeah, I would think, I mean, it's team, it can't be more than 10 bucks. It was seven dollars. Seven dollars. I would think it's acceptable. Seven dollars. Yeah. I mean, this is this video is not going to be crazy extensive testing for like durability or stuff. But on first impressions, unboxing and looking at it, seven dollars is not too bad. It looks all right. Seven bucks. You ready? Why is it so small? I hear oh, that. It's, a, it's, a, it's a mini. Oh, it's one a of those board. Yeah, it's one of those little like half like macro boards. One hand. Okay, so the MK Axe. It's the Axe. <laughs> the Axe. Does it smell like body spray? I already feel like this product's one of the more expensive ones. God, that's ratchet. Is that the space bar? Yeah. So <laughs> I, the idea would be. I don't really know how much this improves or changes your gaming experience at all. I mean, I guess it gives you more desk space for your mouse. If yeah. you're running like really like low <laughs> sense, you can go vroom and do that. But it, I mean, it's pretty well built for what it is. Yeah, yeah, the, the wrist rest is always there. It's not detachable or anything, but it has like a blue switch of some sort, which I guess we can. What kind of, what are the, some of the key specs yeah. back on the listing? 35 keys with blue switches and RGB. What do they call it on Timu? Do they call it a one-handed keyboard or? Yeah, one-handed professional gaming keyboard. Oh, professional. How does that have N, key, N key rollover if there's no N key? Mm. These are, You're really uh, thinking. These are Juano switches, which I've never heard of. The real question oh. is, would any of us use one of these? 
Like, would you like actively use this over? I, we always have big enough tests, you know. Yeah. What's the issue? Do we have Ty GD? Typing tests. <laughs> what kind of what kind of words can you put out with that thing? There you go. Yep. Oh yeah, she's shifting colors. Oh wait, I can spell Tamu. Wait, no, there's no U. Ah. Base bar works. The macros, are no, the macros aren't really set up right now to do anything. Just stop it. Yeah, the only thing I'm be worried about is some weird software you have to install for these. But I guess they're probably just normal keys that you could use in game and be like G1, yeah, G2, like or mouse whatever. Macros. I wouldn't use one myself, but if you're looking for one of these, um, twenty dollars. I'm gonna say like twenty-two. It is. 1690. Wow. That's pretty cool. I can see this. What, you know, I just thought of a scenario, like a LAN setup where you're gaming Ooh, and you don't have a lot of keyboard space. Yeah. You can like, fit so many more of these than you could full size keyboards. Genius. This one has some, some good uh, product description. Oh, it's a Snip and Dury. <laughs> We know Snip and Dury well, don't we, Jonah? Ooh. All right. Well, there's not much more branding on this. Not much more we need to talk about here. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we got. It is a 60% keyboard with blue switches, red switches. <laughs> it doesn't know which one. Can you, I think it's reds. It sounds like red. It, it also says red axes, blue light. Okay, so, so we maybe might red have... axes the red switch, but the light is blue. This is a red B Sun switch. B Sun. Bussin. Bussin. Oh, the Bussin switch. switch. We know the Bussin switch. It's all right. It's all right, dude. It's stabilized pretty well. This is the B900. That's the model. I'm gonna be surprised if this thing um, is actually like you know types one everything and it's USB C and if it's cheap. I don't know if it's cheap. Yet. I'm just assuming it's cheap because it's Steam. All the big keys that have stabilizers actually feel good. This might be Zach's new keyboard. All right, I'll write a little story real quick. Not too bad, but it all comes down to pricing with these Mikado keyboards because you could buy them on Amazon for like really cheap. I wouldn't buy this on Timu unless it was like. $20. I feel like on Amazon, this would be worth um, 25, 30. Yeah, like 30 bucks. But Timu, 20. $23. Mm, okay. Slightly over budget. That's not bad. Yeah, I bet on Amazon, you could probably find that for like 30 bucks. We oh. are moving to Timu's top selling gaming mouse. I'm so Ooh. excited. With 7.4K sold. This is called the G5 Black Button with Sound. Button with sound. Okay, so they slapped a big old label over it that says this device complies with Part 15 FCC rules. Good. Cool. I'm glad. And um, it's Mac compatible. Oh, thank God. I feel like I've seen this design a thousand oh, times. I hate these. This dude. design is horrendous. Oh, it's actually 80, 90. 90 grams. 90 grams yeah. yeah, so 90 grams, you know, it's 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 not bad, but cord is what cord I hate is about horrible. it. It is really bad. I, I hate the, it reminds me of like an old vacuum cord where it's like lined. Yeah. It's lined oh. for, yeah, it's lined. Check out that RGB though. Hold up, yeah. Whoa, fire. Whoa. Oh, the lift off is horrid. Is it worse Dude, than the look, other look, one? Look how high up I can move it. Oh no. I'm considering 7,000 had sold within the past 10 minutes, according to Timu. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but according to Timu it has. Um, I'm gonna say this thing has to be like $10 five to six bucks. Actually, I'm changing my offer because the first one was better and ended up being seven bucks. This one has to be like $5. Yeah. It is four ninety eight. dollars ah, ah, okay. Okay. I, I mean, maybe better than an office mouse. That's really what you're comparing at that price point is like, is it better than an office mouse? And I think this is something that would be included with one of those like Amazon pre-builds. Five bucks, you know what? Don't buy your foot long from Subway. You guys ready for the next product? I think so, what we're we gonna, got? We're gonna switch it up to a mouse pad. Mm. This is the top selling non-custom mouse pad. The number one top selling gaming mouse pad was one where you add your own design. Oh, that's heavy. Let's you know, see. Any branding on it? Um, no, but it's, it's long, but it's not wide. It's got length, but it doesn't have girth. It has that mouse pad smell to it, but. Okay, well, let's go and plug it up. It is micro USB. Okay, so there's RGB. I remember when these first came out, and then they didn't really take off. Yeah, you get like, you know, where the light comes from and it gets very dim as it goes on. Mm -hmm. It feels like a normal, I'm comparing it to our, our build mat, which was like a hundred bucks. And I mean, it feels very similar. It feels fine. Not I bad. mean, it's better than not having one. And I'm hoping because it's an extended one, the price is decent. I'm hoping it isn't more than $12. I was yeah. thinking like the same, uh, 13 max, and I still wouldn't buy it for that. Okay. This 31 and a half by 12 inch is 13.48. Wow, look at us, mm. killing it. Right. I don't know if I'd still pay that much. The price seems fair on paper. It works, you know, it works. It has RGB, it's a mouse pad. They don't always sell these on uh, Amazon for like $20 or something like that. Yeah. I'm noticing a trend. They undercut by like five to six to seven dollars, so. And their shipping's fairly quick. It ain't, it ain't like two day shipping, but it's not bad. We're moving on from the budget to the expensive high end. 
This is the T60 Pro. Mechanical keyboard and mouse combo. Jackson. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> God. Are you sure that's not Razer? This is UK layout. Okay, um, T60, mechanical mouse keyboard, uh, ultra durable modular mechanical switch. Oh, the mouse says it's, it's a hollow out weight design, about 75 grams. <laughs> oh, about, we can weigh it. <laughs> oh, it's pink. Oh, Did wait. you mean to do this? Oh, we got an artisan oh cable. Oh my God. <laughs> I knew Zach wanted a new keyboard. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it. This where's the other? Where's like, yeah? Where's the no, other? No, you one? remember that uh, the blue set that we had? You bought it oh. on like Amazon or something. So we have done. I mean, and it, had a, it was a horrible mouse. We are no strangers to Timu content. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there, show the camera right there. Is that the same one? This is the blue one they're talking about. Yep, this is the same one. It's the manga snake. But yeah, we did a setup. I think this was from the first Timu setup we did that everyone loved. I think we got the uh, other version of this. I mean, nice artisan cable, which I plugged in upside down. But I mean, hey, the keyboard itself, maybe you guys will do a typing test. All in all, I mean, the keyboard's not bad. Um, I, I'm scared of this mouse, man. I feel like it's just gonna ruin it for me. Is it as bad as, oh, whoa. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, this was the one thing I remember about this setup that just kind of ruined it, you know? But I need to know great. in the comments down below, are we being over dramatic about this liftoff thing? I wouldn't pay this much for it. I think I bought it for a video for this price. I think it's like $40. Yeah. I don't think I'd pay more than like 32 for it for just for the keyboard. $45. <clears throat> yeah, honestly, it looks cooler than the others, but honestly, about as bad, maybe worse than the others. And the keyboard is fine. That's a lot of money. We are moving on to the Yanmai SF666R Devil Number <laughs> Professional USB Condenser Mic. Devil, Devil Number, number Condenser well, Mic? I added that myself because it's the 666. Oh, I thought they actually said that. That'd be wild. I feel like we've seen this before too. Okay. That looks kind of familiar. I almost wonder if they uh, if they know the stereotype there of the 666 because I feel like people, most people would be scared to buy this. Oh, look at the RGB. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. Epic, epic. Do you want to allow music boost microphone to use this <laughs> Mac? Uh, I don't know if I should. Testing, testing. This is the 666 mic. Ooh, ooh, ten, ooh, ooh, ten. I was ever for this. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Noise suppression, not there. Um, it's fine. Yeah, it's not terrible. Um, so how much is a Fifine mic nowadays? $30? Yeah, like 25 to 30. This needs to be 15. Yeah, I would say like 12, 15 bucks. Really? I thought the audio quality was better than you guys are like putting on, but it was $13. The best selling <laughs> product on Timu for headsets wasn't available, it sold out. So I had to get some <laughs> Flying things. off the shelves. All right. Oh man, uh, the X15 Pro, Onikuma, we know this company. Yes. Uh, professional gaming headset. What makes it professional? And then we have this little guy. Aw, this little little character. I like that the, the band is somehow gonna be RGB. No shot, it oh. does not come with cat ears by default. Zach knew about this. Meow. Oh, look how they go on too, dude. It's like they designed the ears around the headset. <laughs> Meow! I've never actually seen them labeled. I'm gonna put it to one. Wumbo. Yeah, I mean, I can get you your headphones, but I don't <laughs> think I can do the microphone. Okay, I was like, wait, watch it me. might be a combo jack. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, if that. I'm putting this into the charging port, this is bad. Oh, it, look, it really does have some RGB on the headband. It's definitely not as epic as they made it look. Like, the top is like pretty much non existent. What are you about to play? Some Skrillex? <laughs> Not bad, the RGB is kind of crazy. Like going yeah. through this bar and everything. It's really not bad. It's not bad. Um, I guess we gotta see what it sounds, let's see if I can get it to work, we'll try. This might yeah. not sound the best. So my MacBook will not do the um, well, recording for some reason, I don't have my adapter to actually do it. So um, we'll add it in post and McHauser can yell at us when we don't do it. So I guess it's time to guess the price. I'm gonna say $16.99. I feel like it's probably like closer to 20, but I wouldn't I'm really. Go with $10. I didn't really ask. Uh, $18. Ah, oh, I mean, it's Pretty okay. Close. I mean, it's average gaming headset. I, if I were to buy that on Amazon, it'd probably be $24, $25. Uh, <laughs> whoa. That one's great at Jonah. Uh, Jackson, start with yours. Zihu <laughs> Lang. All right, so this is the M5 RGB macro wired gaming mouse. Ultra light wired gaming mouse, honeycomb oh. shell. Does it come Whoa. with new? Is that sticker decals? Okay, so, and it says it has true RGB, the 16.8 million. 
It says it has 26 RGB lighting effects and DIY veneers. I'm gonna I'm gonna add one of these veneers. <laughs> veneers. <laughs> Ooh, I actually kind of kind of fire. I don't know, cause like. I'm just thinking, so this one's not bad. The RGB's fine. It looks okay. It has grip though. So I mean, that's kind of cool. It actually is light too. Um, I, I'm not thinking that much. 18, 19 bucks. It is $16. Oh. I think for $16 is pretty good. I like it. It's it's yeah. definitely unique compared to other mice. You don't only really find mice like that on Amazon with those accessories and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, and and the the fact that it came with the little the little stickies, pretty dope. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my mouse. This is the HKSJ, I think, mouse. If it's the mouse that it should be, it should the be T66 RGB wireless gaming mouse. Oh, ultra, we got wireless. Ultra lightweight. Ultra lightweight. That's a bold claim. Yeah, something is loose in there. I think. Unfortunately. Okay, so it does work. The RGB doesn't work though. Maybe something's wrong with the RGB. <laughs> I mean, it's wireless. It's just a matter feel of- this. It feels like it's like delayed. Do we weigh this one too? This one says ultra lightweight. I believe it's well, probably like 80 It sounds grams. like there's an extra weight in it. 92. 92 for ultra lightweight. That's crazy. This one, this this thing's probably like $20 and I think that's- If we take out that rattly $19. item, I bet it gets light. Yeah. Yeah, I hope this thing is not more than, than uh, well this one is wireless, so they probably charge more. I'd say 18. It is also $16. It's the Yay! same price as the other one. Well, it didn't show up in great condition. <laughs> Maybe yours will show up a bit better, but eh, not good. Ugh. Whoa. The MK box from Mage Geek. Mage Geek. Um, this device is plug and play, yada, yada, yada. It's not a bomb. All right, let's open it up. Whoa. Main G keyboards, I will say, they're all very similar. It's just a standard gamer keyboard um, that comes with USB-C detachable, a keycap puller. So we got a red switch, which looks to be, that's Bussin. Bussin. Shout out Bussin. They use the same switch, so we'll push that on there. I mean, it looks mm. fine. I don't know how many people were going out of the way to get that color scheme, but it's fine. Quality keyboard though, I think we actually buy these from Amazon pretty often. The actual like keys feel really nice. The space bar and stuff are a little wobbly, but the keys feel very solid. This one feels like the best keyboard, like build quality wise so far. I'm still gonna say like $25. I already forgot what the last one was, so I'm, I'm uh, 21. 2448. Ooh, Again, a money. keyboard that's probably like $30 on Amazon. Save six bucks, timu.com. <laughs> you said that one is the best built yet. This is gonna put that to the test. Also from Mage Geek, we got the MK Star 61. It's a 60% hot swap keyboard with RGB, a silencing plate, and ginger cat switches. Mage Gi, what is this ginger You're cat ready, stuff? You ready right for this? This is primo, apparently. Yo. Ooh, we got the sage green switches. Mmm, fire. Keycaps, yep, that's what I meant to say. I'm a little off today, couldn't tell. We got some pink. What are these called? Ginger cat switches. Sounds and good. they're Mage Geek brand this time. They're not like a after. They're not B Sun. Dang, that those, is are, those are those are hard to press. Feel that, John? So that's kind of like a, isn't a black switch like that a I heavy like red? A is that right? Black switch. Yeah. Nice, real Ooh. RGB. Sounds good. You want to do the typing test? Give them, yeah. give them the honors. I'm gonna guess, okay, a deal would be probably like $35, $40. I can see it being that price. This I'm is gonna, Timu. I'm gonna bet it's gonna be like, I'm gonna say 40. I'm gonna say 33. So this keyboard in this configuration with the orange cat switch, it is $30. Ooh. This is it's the best one yeah, by this far. Is the best this Timu this is a part. high quality product. I, I love the keyboard. I love it. He saved the best for last. I think this guy knew what he was doing, he has to, but Matt has to run it now. We made it through the gauntlet of Timu peripherals, and we came out kind of messed up. <laughs> uh, but we have all the peripherals here. Everything turned out pretty good. Let's just wrap this video up real quick, don't we? Shall we? <laughs> don't we? <laughs> I forgot you, how to read. You should make your dream setup using all this stuff. Like what mouse? Oh, what oh all right. Here we go. Here we go. Well, all right guys, Zach actually told us to put together our dream Timu setup. And obviously some of these products we wouldn't go out of our way to buy, but to make the most complete setup, this is what we chose. And then overall, I was really impressed with this mechanical keyboard. For the price, it's a really good buy. Everything else was okay. You save about six or seven dollars versus buying on like Amazon or local retailer. But all in all, this Timu experience was something. If you want to shop on Timu, shop at your own risk, check the link down below. And let us know what you think of buying peripherals on Timu. And as always, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other T YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye You know what you can't buy in Timu? 
PC Bros Gaming PCs. Because you can only buy that from PCBros.tech. Buy a gaming PC today. Use code TOSPERS2 on checkout. Save some money on your PC. 2% to be exact. See you guys Exclusive. later. Goodbye.